Yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the warnings the car will give, otherwise known as the bings and bongs. So we're in an 80 zone, we accelerate up to just a little bit over the limit, and you'll hear the speed. Okay, so that's the speed to turn. Now if we come back, on the left side of the steering wheel here is our speed, uh, is our cruise control. Hit OK, you'll hear the bong. You can see, if you can see on the screen, the blue, the lanes line up in blue, which means it's now on intelligent cruise control. It's set at 77. Now if I press up on the up button just once, it will round it up to the next five kilometer increment. So it's now on 80. So if I wanted to put it down to say it is 75, I come back, hit the down button once, and it's dropped the speed down to 75. Now, one of the great things about intelligent cruise control is of course, it will look at the vehicles ahead and maintain a certain distance. So if I want to open that distance, I'd use the keys either side. And again, looking at the screen, if I hit the left key, you'll see the one square. So it's already a minimum. If I hit the right key, it goes to the second square, and the right key again, the third square. So I've now put it on the maximum distance, and you can see the car, the car ahead of me, is moving away. If I hit the left button to reduce it, so it's now down to two squares, one square. I'll start closing up on the vehicle in front. So there you go, that shows you how to use the intelligent cruise control, changing the distance between the car in front and back. Um, what I'm hopeful is that the traffic light up ahead will turn red and you'll get to see how the cruise control will actually bring you to a stop and then start you again, which is handy for, yep, it is gonna change, so we'll bring the camera up here and you can watch what happens. So the car's in front, we'll start to slow down. I'm not touching the brake, I'm just holding it steady. Car will start to slow down. The car's braking, the car's doing all the braking now. I'm not touching anything, the car's braking, the car's braking, and the car's brought us to a stop. So the intelligent cruise control's done that itself, and now I'm not touching the accelerator, the car is just moving us off with the traffic. So again, very handy uh, for stop-start traffic. One of the other things I've discovered with the driver display is the little car that's shown there, the indicators and brake lights on that little car activate as well so it actually shows you what is what drivers behind you are seeing so when you've got regenerative braking adjusted up when I take my foot off the brake which I'll take the foot off the accelerator which I'll do shortly you should see the brake lights come on on that little car on our display so if we come up here okay I'm gonna take my foot off now see the brake lights come on on the car okay and I'm accelerating again so that's handy to know that um, the car's braking the other thing is when I when I indicate to change lanes it'll also show on that little car as well I've got a car in my blind spot so I'll wait okay now indicating and you'll see it on the dash as well so that's a cool little uh, feature 